They're very serious, the students. They want to have a good time, but also they want to get the results. Yes. And we're very serious about that. We understand that people are investing in their future. Yeah. We focus on three things. I've always insisted we focus on three things. Firstly, quality. Yes, for sure. um, secondly, consistency. So from consistency point of view, you can't have 10 good teachers and five okay teachers. You have to have 15 great teachers mm -hmm. because everybody is paying the same. Mm -hmm. And so they must receive as similar service as possible. And it's the same with accommodation with host families. Um, you have to have as good as you can consistently. It's difficult, particularly in an environment like this, but that's what we strive for. We've always kept the maximum class size of 10 students mm. per class to one teacher. And now that we have a larger team as well, with the support uh, team, including the teachers, we now have every uh, five students has one uh, member of staff that is there for them. So whether that is a teacher or a support member of staff, a manager, for every five students, there is one person to help them. So for an independent language school, I think we have a really strong team in this respect because you know, there's already someone there to help a student, yeah. you know, if they need for accommodation, their course, social activities, whatever it is, somebody can, you know, help them day to day. Uh, we're accredited by the British Council. Um, we're a member of English UK, but also accredited by ISI, which is the Independent School Inspector, which allows us to be a tier four provider. Um, and in that last inspection, we exceeded expectations in every area. We actually started a school which specialised in putting students through IELTS because we had a lot of uh, students from the Middle East who were only given a short space of time to pass the IELTS. They were sponsored by their governments for a year and they would come as a beginner and expect to be able to go to university and undertake a degree in the English language within a year. It is incredibly difficult. Mm -hmm. So we became quite specialised in pulling the students through. And we learnt a lot during that time because one year to go from a beginner through to actually studying in university mm -hmm. is challenging for anybody. Oh, yes. So that's where our maximum class size came from. You can only do that in a small class mm -hmm. and you can only do it with a really good teacher. Um, and what we found we were doing is, is to get the students through their basic general English, put them in an IELTS class and then off onto university. And we became very well known for doing that. So with our classes, every student gets given a book and the term is about 12 weeks. And you should, because you're in a small class, you've got a good teacher, you should go through that entire level of English within 12 weeks, within three months. So if you come to us, for example, for a year, and you're an elementary student, you should do elementary, pre-intermediate, intermediate, and upper intermediate within a year. Mm. Um, and honestly, that's only possible with a small class and a good teacher. If you're in a class with even as little as 12 or 14 students, if you get stuck, if you have a problem, it's very difficult to interrupt that class or to ask the teacher for help. But if you're in a class where the maximum is 10 and there's usually about eight, mm. you find that the students work really well with one another and the teacher can spot, okay, you didn't get that. And they, they can work on a more personal level. What we find, because we are always running 25 classes at a time, there are only six levels of English, beginner, elementary, pre-intermediate, intermediate, upper intermediate and advanced. So we will always have multiple courses at the same level. So when we test your English, we can say, okay, this intermediate student, but is it a high intermediate student? Is it a low intermediate student? And we'll be able to put you in a very specific class mm -hmm. because the more you learn English, the bigger the levels get. Beginner is actually quite a small level. You can go through it in about eight weeks. Upper intermediate can take you six months sometimes. Mm. You can be any point within that level. So if you go to a language school that has one upper intermediate class, 
then you're going to go in whilst you might be with other students at a similar level, at a different level. But that is the same with IELTS. With our IELTS classes, we have four levels of IELTS, which is very unique. Most language schools will have an IELTS class. But IELTS, you can start learning at IELTS 4, which is about low intermediate, through to IELTS 6.5. Most universities want 6.5, which is quite advanced. So if there's one IELTS class, you're going to go in, and actually the range of students' levels, there's quite a variety of levels. Yes. Um, with us, you'll go in not only into an IELTS class, but at an IELTS class that's at your level. That's very, very important, because most IELTS classes are mixed levels. Regardless of if you're looking for university or English for your career, for your future job, or maybe you're just really passionate about having English skills today for global communication, but maybe just to travel, maybe you want to have experiences. I think that the range of levels that we offer can suit everybody, and also the range of course types. So, you know, if you're more interested for the travel, the culture, you know, a part-time course of 15 hours a week is great. And you can do that in the morning or the afternoon. So then you can explore Wales, you can meet local people, you can have a good experience in your free time. But likewise, if you have a real goal, you know, for a future job, maybe to go to university, and you need to do an exam preparation course for university or for business, then maybe you'll want a more intensive course, like 21 hours a week or 30 hours. So you might study for the whole day or, or most of the day. So you're in the classroom um, and you're, you're getting the most of that time with the teacher and with, with other students from around the world. I mean, every year we have about 40 different nationalities. So, you know, it's like walking into a round the world building. You meet mm. someone from a new place every day. So mm. it's a really exciting place to work, but also for our students, they can meet their peers from around the world. They can network, maybe keep the contact for in their future lives. Um, but one thing that is really great is that we get a lot of students from Europe, from Far Eastern Asia, the Middle East, but from Latin America is a very small amount for us right now. Only about 2% of our students come from Brazil and some of the larger uh, Latin American countries. So if you're from Brazil, you know, it's a great time to come to Cardiff and discover Cardiff because you can mix with so many people from around the world. You can go to London on the tube and just hear other languages okay. and not hear English being spoken. Yeah. You'll never experience that in this city. Even though London's only two hours away, it's easy to reach, you can go there on the weekend. Um, if you really want to learn English and you're serious about learning English, uh, a city like Cardiff is a much better destination for you to go to. Mm. And like my colleague said, we had, I think last summer we had 48 different nationalities. It's, that's what I love about this place, that's what I love about my job, is being surrounded by young people um, and a variety of people, yeah, it's, it's, it's tremendous. For really young students from 12 maybe to 16 years old, we can welcome them as a school group in a closed class together, but they can still enjoy all the Celtic activities and conversation cafe and mix with other students. Um, but even for more mature students these days, we're noticing business professionals and you know retired students, um, you know maybe from Switzerland, Japan. Yep. Aging populations now with a little extra money are really excited to to do something new and have a project like learning English. Thank you.